What's up guys? Good morning. I have a little bit of extra time here in the parking lot ahead of the game. So I'm going to do a quick sled walkthrough kind of with you guys. See what we got going on on my snowmobile for this year. So this is my sled. She's really pretty. I'm really happy with it. I have an Arctic FX wrap. I have one of the climb um, wrap designs. I do have the halo flake in the sun. It looks super nice. I love the glitter in it. My favorite things I have on my sled are my Fox Float 3 shocks. I think they make my sled like a hundred times better. I can tell when I'm on a sled that doesn't have them. Um, I actually lost a cover on this one. The other side has a cover. I don't know where it went. I do run the Bikeman Performance Stage 2 kit, which is includes the sniper weights, the primary and secondary springs, a helix, washers, and a clutch cover. I do think this has made my sled much more responsive and adds just a touch more horsepower that definitely is noticeable when I'm out there riding. I also have the Bikeman Performance Full Velocity Muffler, which you can tell in this clip, it makes my sled sound so nice. It's perfect. I also have their wide pipe, single pipe, and the torque link to make sure I have my sled running at the proper tune. a little bit of a situation yesterday and bent my bumper you can see right here so my plastics don't really fit on super good but you know we're gonna deal with it other things my a arms don't match it's kind of fun um i do have a sled solutions handlebar bag i have this side and the other side i love this handlebar bag so much it's so nice it clips on like super easy to change take on and off switch around sleds when i've been kind of when mine was broken i was taking it to all the different sleds i was riding super nice container here i'll have my phone i keep a hand warmer in there to keep my phone and my gopro i'm warm has a little thing you can put you know i guess when i put my license in there and stuff like that kind of like a goggle holder hats and then another little compartment in here as well so it's super handy just to have all that right there do run the barant um under seat bag i have usually a water in my face mask in there so i can easily switch those out i do run a gas caddy Really, that's my brother's because I don't really run out of gas. I have a VCA Mountain Pro tunnel bag. This on Amazon is literally so cheap. Like, if you need a tunnel bag, this is the one I'd recommend. I usually don't run my shovel on my tunnel bag, but today we're trail riding, so we're not really going to be off trail riding at all we're with our family. Not really at an avi risk, so if we do go off trail, I'll put it in my backpack where it belongs, but... And then in here, super nice. These are both waterproof compartments. I have extra clothes and um, first aid and gear stuff in there. Lots of snacks and my camera. I might get some pictures of my family today. Extra goggles, extra gloves, my tripod, tools, about a hundred Allen wrenches, <laughs> beef jerky, more snacks. I always have a lot of snacks. I have my Ibex ice scratchers, which are huge. Literally, I know that this year Polaris just released. Um, their sleds are all gonna have the bi-directional ice scratchers, but I think, you know, having those on your sled if you've an older sled and getting them is worth your money like 10 times over because these are super nice they're so easy to install like literally took me 10 minutes not even probably super fast um the only thing is they do come with a thing you can put in to like hook them up on i honestly would never remember to put mine up or down i leave them down all the time every single time i ride they're down they're going in the trailer down they're going up the sled deck down they're in the trees down I never had a problem. Um, that's why they're so nice because I was riding a rental sled and they had those ones that kind of like go down and drop back. I, You forget to put those things up. That's the last thing you're thinking about when you're trying to reverse or trying to go up a trailer or something like that or sled deck. You're not worried about it. So I think that the Ibex Ice Scratchers are super nice. I had the Skidoo ones. They're not nearly as thick of metal. So they kind of broke off. One of them broke off on a rock. That was kind of a bummer. I definitely have drove over some hefty rocks like up high in the mountains and there's not a lot of snow cover. And the only thing that happened so far is my one, the tip of it broke off. I mean, it's still super long, but just the tiny little tip broke off, um, which whatever it did. Still works, still great. Didn't break off the whole thing. Like the other one took the whole chunk off. So it didn't even kick up any snow for me. Like this one you can tell has like a little end to it. Um, overall, those eye scratchers are 10 out of 10. If you don't have bi-directional eye scratchers, you need to get them. I have a tether that kind of hides in here. Other than that, that's pretty much what I got going on for this year. 
So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough.